So we, we're rushing now to get back to the boat without any tools. <laughs> we're having that kind of a morning today. We almost drove away without paying for the fuel. So <laughs> we were like, whoops, don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that In our defense though, we hadn't drunk the coffee yet. That so. could have been a dangerous game. All right, open the day. car, woman. Well, I can't find the keys in all my layers. All right, I got it. All right, let's go. This is Chris. Joining us is Barley Our Sausage, and this is our home in the making. Thanks for watching, and welcome aboard. We're gonna basically, we've decided to leave the boat where it is for a little bit. Um, we friends of ours came past yesterday, and we had a little chat about the section of the canal that's a bit further down. I said we live in Dodgeville. So what we're going to try and do is get some sanding done and a bit more painting uh, just so we can use this time productively. And, yeah, uh, we kind of want to get everything done on the outside of the boat so that when we get it onto the dry dock we can focus on the bottom and if anything needs to be done we can do that and then just do one quick spray over of another primer on the whole, on um, the whole the top of the boat. Top of the boat. Yeah. So if we can get the first coat on first, it will help us a lot time-wise, I think. Yeah, also then when we pull into the dry dock, they're not like, whoa, what's up with this boat? <laughs> anyway, I think that's they're the still going to think that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. I think they are going to think that. We showed them a picture of the boat before we were going to bring it, and he's like, okay. Silence, <laughs> space it at all. <laughs> but anyway, right. let's get cracking. Let's, let's get go. cracking. Barley this way. <laughs> it's a cowboy today, baby. He took out a notepad and wrote something for me. So yesterday we um, had some coffee with our fellow South Africans that popped past us a couple weeks ago. Thanks for inviting us in by the way. Fortunately yesterday we didn't have our camera with us so we couldn't record but they had the three cutest little dogs. Oh boy, he's surrounded by girls. Ooh on, la la. He's like so that, please. Hi. Oh. Sorry Gizmo. Sorry Gizmo, hi. Hi. <laughs> The usual because we want to get stuff done. Everything breaks. So Christopher's fixing it and then we fixed it and then we broke it again because that's what we do. <laughs> so now we're fixing the second problem which is the starter pull cord. the pull cord yeah basically snapped off. So trying to get that undone without having spanners. Luckily we just found one now and he's on the last bolt. And also because we were trying now to do it without, it's rounded. without the spanner, we've now rounded the bolt. Well, one of them anyway. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> Well, the problem is we need to take it off. Please? Yes. Okay, well, it's not how you meant to do it, but it's done now. It's this is how not to do it at home, people. This is how not to do it, yes. <laughs> so basically, the pull cord broke off. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Daddy. So as you can see, we finally got the uh, general started and uh, we can now push ahead with some more work. Um, so basically half the day, well not half the day, but about two hours we've been struggling with that thing. Um, but thankfully we got it running, so I'm going to get to it. We got time on our side, we're in a state of home. So yeah, hopefully we can accomplish painting at least this one side for today. And then hopefully tomorrow we can start with the bottom, the bottom section here. And if we can get that right, then uh, I'll be pretty chuffed. Because uh, there's a couple of days of sun, next couple of days. So hopefully we can mirror this on the other side and, uh, and finally get to see what she looks like a bit better than, than she is now. I don't know how beautiful I look, sir. I'm terribly sorry about my look, but we are finally finished this one side. How many hours did it take us? Uh, Do you know? Five. About five! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, nah, it only took us about two and a half. My arthritis in my hands is killing me from the from the grinder, but we got it done. So we've done from where we stopped painting all the way down to the front over here today so I'm pretty pretty happy about that and now I just want to vacuum everything up and then get rid of um, all of this mud as well make sure everything is sucked up dry nice and clean and then we can start painting I say that and then it starts raining so you know how it goes perhaps tomorrow we shall paint because tomorrow is a sunny day I think it is but at least this is done for today so I'm pretty happy are you happy yeah I'm pretty happy I'm pretty happy I feel like I'm super dusty and dirty how do I look not too bad
It might be too hot. We just need it for two more minutes. Ugh. Just when you think everything's going swell, everything oh. turns off. The generator has been running for most of the day. Now, I think it's a little bit hot, but she still wants us on, so I'm gonna try. We need to leave it for a few minutes to cool down. It has been running for about four or five hours now, so then we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pack the van with all the tools. Then we're gonna vacuum everything up, sweep it. If the rain passes, we'll do a bit of painting. If not, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully we got a bit of sunshine so we can paint. Just on my face. Ah, oh. just a sign of work progress going on here. It's all this dust on my face. We are getting into painting. We have finally finished grinding on both sides. However, there is a slight little boo-boo. The front is not complete. We've run out of juice for the generator, so that's the only part we haven't been able to finish on the whole front of the boat. So I think we did pretty well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start painting now, and then tomorrow when we come back, we will just finish off this section and paint it as well so best we get on our painting spree because we've got a lot to paint baby yeah it's finally that's finished so once we get this painted we can come back tomorrow and tackle the next part then we can move in it just seems like it's never gonna end <laughs> anyway we're quite conscious of the 21 meters length and the three and a half meter width <laughs> <laughs> anyway let's do it's some painting it's not that bad because the windows take up so much space, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not that good either. All right, let's get on with some painting. <laughs> okay, so those of you who've been wondering about rust converter, uh, we are actually using it, but not on the entire boat. Um, we're using it on the really bad spots that need to be done. Uh, and what we've chosen is Rustin's rust converter. Uh, it has a three hour drying time. So that's why we pretty much chose to use this one. So we can treat the really bad areas and we can paint in a relatively quick time. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now, and then after it's dry, we can maybe put some primer on this. So you're just doing in really all the bad pitting areas. Yeah, as you can see, there's lots of bad pitted areas here. So we'll treat the rust, and then we, because the steel is actually still quite thick, so we'll probably end up filling those areas. Um, this section here, though, I'll have to cut the, the, that out at a later stage. Normally once the, the rust converter has done its job, it turns blue and then you know it's pretty much done. Uh, it's also like dry to the hand, to the touch, sorry. Yeah, so we just use it on the really bad sections. Um, obviously we're sanding down the whole the whole boat which is getting rid of the surface rust and then we're treating it with oxide primer and we will be coating it obviously with another coat of primer and then a top coat so uh, hopefully that should do the job um, you're basically just treating the really bad areas like this 